Hi, everyone. Guys, you're going to be amazed today. Sue, here you go. Oh, thanks. It's exactly what I need. And how about the palette? I know it's useful for mixing paints. And you're right, but this time, we'll apply paints just like this. Holy cannoli. And we've just started, you know. <laughs> but what are we drawing? So far, it looks like the rain of paints. <laughs> I like your vivid imagination. But this is going to be an enchanted forest. Like in fairy tales? Oh, I'm so excited! That's right, but our forest will be better, because it's reality and not just the story. Now, we should blend the colors with a few short, firm strokes. Like this. Guys, we've got a lot of videos about wonderful paintings on our channel. And I strongly recommend you check them out. It's worth it, Sue. So for this painting, we only need one brush? I mean, you said that we're not going to buy a whole set. Actually, that's not entirely true. And it's good that I found several old brushes in our craft box. Thank you very much. Guys, try to be careful with the colors and don't make a mess. It's very easy if you'll change brushes and rinse them in cold water. Sue, move over. I'm going to show you my skills. And a little bit here, one more stroke, and ta-da! This is a great honor to work with you, Master Samuel. <laughs> now we need to work on this side. Here we go. Hmm. Sue, don't get me wrong, but with this empty spot, the enchanted forest doesn't seem so enchanted. Whoa! <laughs> Yummy, it'll stay empty if you're gonna spin in my way like that. Guys, I can't wait to move on to the next stage. So I hope you don't mind if we speed up a little bit. Now we're talking. Guys, stay tuned. I bet you'll be surprised with the result. Let's continue, guys. The application technique for this stage is a bit different but still very easy. We just need to tap the surface with a sponge like this. And it's very important to work on wet paint. This way. Sue, did you know that there are many fairy tales in which the enchanted forest plays a big part? Really? Then tell us. No, I have a better idea. I will give you some clues and you'll guess. Sounds great. Let's do this. Let the fairy tale quiz begin. All right. Ahem. Here comes your first clue. Oh, wait. Tale as old as time. True as it can be. Oh, I know, I know. It's Beauty and the Beast. The Beast's castle was situated in the forest. And Belle's father got lost there in the very beginning of the story. Great, Sue. You nailed it. How about this one? Hmm, you decided to grab a bite, Sammy, at a moment like this. Ugh, as usual. Wrong! Susie, that was another clue! If I clearly understood, that's Genji from Shrek? Am I right? But why do you think I'm eating it? It's Hansel and Gretel! <gasps> I can't believe I didn't realize that! Guys, do you remember this story about the siblings? Trapped in a witch's house made of gingerbread cake and pastries? It's really exciting! La, 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 la. I'm a little girl wearing a red hood. Maybe you've got some food? What a deep voice you have. The better to greet you with. What a big mouth you have. The better to eat you with. Ah! <laughs> Sammy! As you might have guessed, guys, Sammy and I performed a scene from Little Red Riding Hood. And that was awesome! In the meantime, I'm almost done with the trees. We just need more branches. <gasps> What's that? Ugh, Sammy! Wait, is it another clue? Sammy! What else could it be? Do you really think I'd interrupt you without a reason? Hmm, well, I have a guess. Does that arrow have something to do with Robin Hood? And that's the fourth fairy tale! That's right! Hey, I've just realized that we finished this stage. And it looks awesome! Do you agree, guys? If yes, don't forget about a thumbs up! <laughs> Oh no, where is everything? I clearly remember it was right here. Isn't this what you were looking for? Oh, you're my savior, thanks. Guys, now our forest looks kind of gloomy. Let's make it blossom. For the final stage, you need to secure Q-tips with a rubber band to make this strange bouquet. We'll just dip it in the paint and go tap, 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 <laughs> this way. Hmm, and what if? Yeah, that's a great idea. I gotta write it down so I can Hey, Sammy, what are you doing? Making a new list of necessary things for our crafts. Nuh-uh. Our painting inspired me to figure out my own fairy tale. Really? I can't wait to hear it. Give us some details. Guys, are you interested too? Then give us a thumbs up. I didn't finish.
Venus yet, but okay. It is a story about a very cool pink slime. He is a big friend of all animals and loves making crafts. Let me guess. His name is Sam, right? Uh, how did you know? I can read your mind. <laughs> but what about the forest? Well, he meets fantastic creatures traveling across the forest. With? With a great deal of courage. Okay, Sammy, is it just me or... Your fairy tale is missing another character. Maybe a human friend? Oh yeah, of course. I almost forgot to say it. She's very smart and kind. And just awesome. And her name is Sue, of course. <laughs> Sammy, it seems like your fairy tale resembles our real life. Perhaps. What can I do if our life is like a wonderful fairy tale? With a best friend, everything turns out to be dreamlike. Oh, Sammy, you're so cute. I'm so lucky to have you by my side. In the meantime, we're close to the finish line. Let's just add a few last details to make the whole picture look more complete. time do you need? I'm tired of waiting! Be patient, Sammy. Do you know an old saying? Everything comes to he who waits. And we're done! Wow! Guys, would you look at this? It's just something! Yeah, I think this is gonna be one of my favorites. And it's so easy to make. Sometimes less effort can lead to a great result. Like today! Guys, why don't we have another look at our wonderful painting in all its glory? Hi guys! Today we're going to make something very interesting. Hi everyone! Sue promised me to draw a landscape. Right, and we'll do it using different painting techniques. Sue, is this a spatula? Are you gonna build something again? <laughs> no, Sammy, it's an art tool. It's called a palette knife. And here's the canvas we're going to paint on. Let's squeeze out the first color. Now let's start with the blue sky. Paint in broad strokes using a brush like this. Look, it's very easy. And now let's blend the paints with a bigger brush. There we go! continue working on our painting. It's time for the palette knife. Oh, it's getting really interesting. Hmm. I didn't know you could paint with a spatula. Oh, Sammy, a joke told twice doesn't become twice as funny. If it's funny for me, it's funny for everyone. We'll fix it. The first layer is already set so we can remove the drop with a wet wipe like this. It's time to blend everything again. Don't rush. The most important thing here is quality, not the speed. Let's take some white paint with the palette knife and cover the mountaintops with snow. A lot of snow. Oh, this painting makes me want to go hiking too. Let's 
make the peaks look more realistic. And this one a little higher. All right, here comes the trick, guys. We'll use two colors at once. Palette Blade, you are back in business. Guys, do you want to see why we did that? Here comes the magic. Let's blend these slopes carefully. See? We got mysterious and quite magical shades. Now we'll use the fan brush. We use it to dab the feet of our mountains. This will be a very dense forest. Though it doesn't look like it at the moment. We did great! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Let's add the white paint using the palette blade and separate two parts of the forest. Then we'll blend it again. This will be the reflection. And now it will get even more interesting. Does it remind you of something? When are you gonna finish? I can't wait anymore! Sammy, be patient. Just a little more. By the way, how do you like it? Huh. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some Nutella. Now let's apply the paint to the bottom corners using this tapping technique. Time to work with the palette knife again. All right, cool. Let's add some white strokes here. And here. Oh, I forgot about clouds. Let's make them fluffy, tapping the brush like this. So just some final touches are left. I can't imagine forests and mountains without birds. There. I can feel that atmosphere. Sammy, what do you say? Oh, very beautiful. I'd like to put my tent there. Oh, thanks. Guys, if you like the video too, give a thumbs up. See you soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss our new video. Bye, everyone.